Have you ever heard about the only unsolved case in the history of American aviation, the tale of D.B. Cooper? This is a story that has mystified the world for over five decades, a tale that has left authorities, historians, and amateur sleuths scratching their heads in disbelief and fascination. Our narrative begins in the late autumn of 1971, on a seemingly ordinary day. An unassuming man, donning a suit and sunglasses, boarded Northwest Orient Airlines Flight 305. He introduced himself as Dan Cooper, but the world would come to know him as D.B. Cooper. Soon after takeoff, this mysterious man passed a note to the flight attendant, revealing his audacious plan. He claimed to have a bomb and demanded $200,000 in ransom, four parachutes, and a fuel truck standing by in Seattle to refuel the aircraft upon arrival. Cooper's plan was brazen, his execution flawless. His demands were met, and he released the passengers unharmed upon landing. Then, under the cover of night and somewhere between Seattle and Reno, D.B. Cooper did the unthinkable. He jumped from the back of the airborne Boeing 727, with the ransom money strapped to his body, and disappeared into the vast wilderness below. Despite an extensive manhunt and years of investigation by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, no one ever found D.B. Cooper. No definitive physical evidence, no undisputable identity. The man who pulled off one of the most audacious heists in history had vanished, leaving behind only a trail of theories and unanswered questions. So who was this man known as D.B. Cooper, and how did he manage to vanish into thin air? As we delve deeper into this enigma, we'll explore the details of his daring hijack, his meticulous planning, the relentless search by the FBI, and the enduring legacy he left behind. It's a journey into the heart of one of history's greatest unsolved mysteries, a tale of audacity, intrigue, and an unparalleled vanishing act. The story begins on a cold November afternoon in 1971. On this fateful day, a man identifying himself as Dan Cooper boarded Northwest Orient Airlines Flight 305 from Portland to Seattle. He was nondescript, clad in a business suit with a black tie and white shirt. An ordinary passenger on an ordinary flight, or so it seemed. Once airborne, Cooper passed a note to Florence Schaffner, the flight attendant situated closest to him. Initially, she slipped the note, unopened, into her purse, thinking it was just a lonely businessman's phone number. Cooper leaned closer and whispered, Miss, you'd better look at that note, I have a bomb. The note, written in neat capital letters, got straight to the point. Cooper demanded $200,000 in $20 bills and four parachutes. If his demands were not met, he threatened to blow up the plane with the bomb he claimed to have in his briefcase. Schaffner, instructed to relay the message to the pilot, did so with commendable calm. Back on the ground, Authorities scrambled to meet Cooper's demands. The plane circled in the air for approximately two hours, giving law enforcement enough time to gather the ransom money and parachutes. Once everything was in place, the plane landed in Seattle. The passengers were blissfully unaware of the hijacking taking place, having been told that the delay was due to minor mechanical difficulties. In Seattle, the exchange took place. Cooper allowed the 36 other passengers and senior flight attendant to disembark in return for the money and parachutes. Then, with a smaller crew, the plane was refueled and ready for takeoff. Cooper's instructions were clear. He wanted to head towards Mexico City at the slowest possible speed at a low altitude, with the cabin unpressurized. With the money in hand and the plane refueled, Cooper was ready for the next phase of his audacious plan. As the plane took off again, Headed for Mexico City, Cooper did something no one could have predicted. He coolly strapped on a parachute, tightened his raincoat, and in the midst of a howling storm, jumped into the unknown from the rear air stairs of the Boeing 727. With $21,000 strapped to his body, Cooper plummeted into the pitch black night, swallowed by the pounding rain and gusting winds. The audacity of his escape was unparalleled a daring leap into uncertainty, a move as bold and mysterious as the man himself. In the aftermath of Cooper's audacious escape, the authorities scrambled to make sense of what had just happened. The FBI, local law enforcement, and even the military were mobilized in an unprecedented manhunt. They scoured the possible landing zones, a vast wilderness of dense forests and treacherous terrains, 
but found no trace of the elusive Skyjacker. The search was like looking for a needle in a haystack, a haystack that covered thousands of square miles. They found no parachute, no body, and not a single dollar of the ransom money. The weather conditions, combined with the vastness of the search area, made the task near impossible. Cooper had jumped into a storm, into the wilderness, and seemingly into oblivion. As the days turned into weeks, then months, then years, the trail grew cold. The FBI followed thousands of leads, interviewed hundreds of suspects, and even consulted psychics in a desperate bid to crack the case, but all to no avail. The mysterious man known as D.B. Cooper had vanished, leaving behind only a trail of questions and a legend that would continue to baffle investigators for decades. Despite an extensive manhunt and investigation, D.B. Cooper had seemingly disappeared off the face of the earth. His daring escape from the sky remains one of the most audacious and enigmatic events in the annals of criminal history, a mystery that continues to captivate and confound us to this day. The FBI was left with a mystery on their hands, one that would persist for decades. Once the initial shock of the audacious skyjacking wore off, the real work began. The FBI launched one of the most extensive and high-profile investigations in its history, dubbed NORJAC, short for Northwest Hijacking. Over the years, they considered and investigated over a thousand suspects, yet each trail led to a dead end. Let's take a step back into the year 1980. Eight years after Cooper's daring escape, a significant discovery was made. A young boy vacationing with his family on the Columbia River unearthed bundles of decomposed $20 bills. The serial numbers match those of the ransom money given to Cooper, a breakthrough that rekindled hope in the case. Yet despite this promising lead, the money failed to provide a definitive trail back to the elusive Skyjacker. As the years rolled by, the FBI continued their relentless search, yet the case remained as elusive as ever. Suspect after suspect was ruled out, and the trail seemed to grow colder with each passing year. The investigation was not without its share of tantalizing leads and false hopes. There were deathbed confessions, alleged accomplices coming forward, and numerous Cooper imposters. Each lead was thoroughly explored, only to be eventually dismissed. In 2016, after 45 years of investigation, the FBI made the reluctant decision to suspend active investigation of the case. The D.B. Cooper case was moved to the FBI's cold case files, marking an anticlimactic end to one of the most notorious unsolved cases in the history of American crime. Despite the official closure of the case, the story of D.B. Cooper continues to captivate and intrigue. Armchair detectives and professional investigators alike continue to pore over the case files, hoping to find the one clue that will crack the case wide open and finally reveal the identity of the famed Skyjacker. With every passing year, the mystery of D.B. Cooper only seemed to deepen. Cooper's audacious crime and subsequent disappearance have left a lasting impact on American culture. This daring act of aviation piracy, carried out with such audacity and flair, has seeped its way into every corner of popular culture. In the world of cinema, Cooper's story has served as a source of inspiration for a myriad of films. From the high-octane action thriller Without a Paddle, to the more nuanced and psychological exploration of his character in The Pursuit of D.B. Cooper, his tale has been retold and reimagined time and again. Television has not been immune to the allure of D.B. Cooper either. His enigmatic persona has been woven into the plots of many popular series. The iconic show Prison Break, for instance, features a character who is said to be Cooper himself. Even in the realm of animation, The Simpsons couldn't resist a nod to the Skyjacker in one of their episodes. Numerous authors have also been captivated by Cooper's story, penning books that delve into the depths of the mystery. From Jeffrey Gray's Skyjack, The Hunt for D.B. Cooper, to D.B. Cooper, What Really Happened by Max Gunther, the literature on Cooper is as vast as it is intriguing. Beyond the realms of film, television, and literature, the fascination with D.B. Cooper persists. The internet is rife with theories about his identity and fate, 
with enthusiasts tirelessly gathering and analyzing every shred of evidence they can lay their hands on. Theories range from the plausible to the outright bizarre, but each one is a testament to the enduring allure of the Cooper enigma. The legacy of D.B. Cooper is one of intrigue and fascination, a testament to the human fascination with unsolved mysteries. His audacious act and subsequent disappearance have spawned a cultural phenomenon that transcends generations and continues to captivate us. Even today, the name D.B. Cooper is synonymous with one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in American history. Over the years, countless theories have been proposed about the identity and fate of D.B. Cooper. These theories, as varied and imaginative as they are, have allowed the Cooper legend to thrive, creating a mystery that has captivated the public for over half a century. One of the most enduring theories posits that Cooper was a seasoned paratrooper, skilled in survival techniques. This theory suggests that he could have survived the perilous jump and navigated his way through the dense forest, eventually escaping with his ill-gotten gains and assuming a new identity. Others believe that Cooper was not a hardened criminal or a thrill-seeker, but a desperate man pushed to the brink by personal or financial troubles, a theory that paints a more sympathetic picture of the infamous Skyjacker. Then there are those who think that Cooper may not have survived the jump at all. The harsh weather conditions, the treacherous terrain, and the fact that Cooper was not dressed for survival in the wilderness could have led to his untimely demise. Among the sea of speculations, there have been individuals who have come forward claiming to be D.B. Cooper, or claiming to know his true identity. Some of these claims have been dismissed as publicity stunts, while others have led to serious investigations, only to eventually hit a dead end. There's the case of Richard McCoy, a Vietnam veteran who carried out a similar hijacking less than five months after Cooper's disappearance. Many believe that McCoy and Cooper were the same person, despite the FBI ruling out this possibility. And let's not forget about the deathbed confession of Dwayne Weber, who claimed to be Cooper in his final hours. His wife found a suspicious item in his possession after his death, further fueling the speculation. While these theories provide intriguing possibilities, the truth remains elusive. The D.B. Cooper case, with its countless theories and enduring mystery, continues to captivate us a testament to our fascination with the unknown and the unsolved. As we delve deeper into this mystery, a number of questions remain unanswered. The enigma of D.B. Cooper, the vanishing skyjacker, has left us with a labyrinth of conundrums that still baffle us, even after over half a century. First, let's ponder on how Cooper managed to survive the jump. On that fateful night, Cooper parachuted into a raging storm, with temperatures well below freezing over a dense, uncharted forest. He was dressed in a business suit and loafers, hardly the attire for such an audacious feat. Did he have survival skills we are unaware of? Or was he just incredibly lucky? Then, there's the question of where he went after the hijacking. Despite a massive manhunt and exhaustive investigations, Cooper vanished without a trace. Did he manage to elude the authorities and live out his days in obscurity? Or did he meet his end in the wilderness, his body never to be found? And finally, the most perplexing question of all, why was the FBI never able to identify him? The case of D.B. Cooper is the only unsolved air piracy in commercial aviation history. Despite having his composite sketch circulated widely and a list of over a thousand potential suspects, the real identity of D.B. Cooper remains a mystery. Was he a master of disguise, or just an ordinary man who managed to pull off an extraordinary heist? In the end, these unanswered questions form the crux of the D.B. Cooper enigma. They are what make this story so captivating, so enduring. Each question opens up a new realm of possibilities, a new twist in the tale. And as long as these questions remain unanswered, we remain entranced caught in the web of this intriguing mystery. Until these questions are answered, the mystery of D.B. Cooper will continue to captivate us all. As we wrap up this journey into the enigma that is D.B. Cooper, one thing is clear. The story of this audacious skyjacker who hijacked a plane, demanded a ransom, and then disappeared into the night leaving no trace behind, is one that continues to captivate us. From the audacious hijacking to the daring escape, 
the meticulous investigation to the enduring legacy, the countless theories to the unanswered questions, the tale of D.B. Cooper is a complex jigsaw puzzle with missing pieces. It's a story that has all the elements of a Hollywood thriller, yet it's real, and its resolution remains elusive. The case of D.B. Cooper is a testament to the human fascination with the unknown and the unsolvable. The mystery surrounding his identity and his fate continue to fascinate, to inspire, and to confound. The tale of D.B. Cooper, the skyjacker who vanished, remains one of the most intriguing unsolved cases in American history. A story that continues to mystify and fascinate who is D.B. Cooper we may never know.